The city is located in Italy's Fligrian Fields or Campi Fligrian, a giant caldera west of Naples that is part of a volcanic arc stretching through Campania, including Mount Vesuvius. For years, living by the sea near Naples felt calm and comfortable for Julie Sutton, despite the presence of a supervolcano beneath it. Sutton, a British expat from Manchester, moved to Pozzuoli in southern Italy more than four decades ago. Campi Flegre is often dubbed a supervolcano, which according to the United States Geological Survey, describes a volcano capable of producing an eruption measuring 8 on the Richter scale on the Volcanic Explosivity Index VEFI, releasing 240 cubic miles of material. However, Campi Flegre's largest known eruption, which occurred 39,000 years ago, is estimated to have measured 7 on the Richter scale. Although the volcano has been dormant since its 1538 eruption, a recent series of earthquakes has literally shaken the residents of Pozzuoli and other towns including Bacoli, Monte Gipresida, Quarto, and several districts of Naples. Mrs. Sutton says she no longer feels safe in the place she has called home for most of her life. Now she and other locals are ready and prepared to evacuate at any moment. My daily life is filled with panic and unexpected tremors make me take a quick shower, she told the eye paper. I even have a bag near the front door so I can rush over if needed. Three earthquakes in the past three months have measured at least four on the Richter scale, enough to shatter dishes and glass indoors and crack exterior walls. This year alone, there have been 4,431 tremors in the Fligrian field zone, according to the Vesuvius Observatory at Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology. Last year, the number reached 6,740. And since January 2024, parts of the field have risen by about 20 centimeters, a phenomenon called Bradism. The American Geographical Society has pointed to the possible movement of magma beneath the surface as the cause of the ground deformation, as well as noted increased carbon dioxide emissions and increased seismic activity. Although most of the tremors have been in low magnitude, generally below 2.0 on the Richter scale, seismologists warn that activity is increasing. They compare it to seismic patterns seen in the 1980s, when 40,000 people were evacuated from their homes due to increasingly strong shaking. More than half a million people live in the red zone where Pozzuoli is located, the area most at risk of pyroclastic flows. Another 800,000 live in areas that would face significant volcanic ashfall. Approximately 4 million people live within a 20-kilometer radius of a possible eruption. If such an eruption were to occur, widespread evacuations would be expected with significant damage to towns, villages, transport infrastructure, and agriculture. Mrs. Sutton and her neighbors were so worried that they held an emergency meeting to determine relocation sites if the earthquake worsened. I live on the third floor and I felt it much more, she said. The recent earthquake scared me to death and I thought the end was here. Tables were shaking and all the ceramics were falling and breaking. But what really shocked me was the sound. It felt like a train had hit the house. I always feel nervous. After the 4.6 magnitude earthquake in late June, the strongest hit the region in 40 years. Mauro Antonio Navito, Director of the Vesuvius Observatory said, This event didn't surprise us. Even after weeks of no seismic activity, the rocks can accumulate pressure and then release energy. This is typical behavior of the Flegrian system. Seismologists say there is no immediate threat of an eruption from the supervolcano. However, the local government has discussed developing emergency evacuation plans if needed. This is not very reassuring for Ms. Sutton, who has cracks in her walls and can see damage to the building opposite. She said the local government has proposed using drones to inspect the building for damage, but she has not yet seen any action. Under Italy's 2025 national budget, 100 million euros, 87 million pounds, has been allocated for residential buildings at risk of damage from seismic activity. Inspections of these buildings are free and can be requested from local government offices in Pozzuoli, Bacoli, or Naples until the end of this month. 
Last March, the local government also conducted a large-scale evacuation drill in the region in preparation for a possible eruption. People don't feel safe here. There is an air of sadness and shops are closing, making it eerie. It's a real shame as there is everything here. It could happen now or it could not happen again for 20 years, as Sutton said. However, others take a more sanguine view. Lori Frasco, 37, from Manchester, feels differently. She moved to Pazuoli two years ago from Hawaii and previously lived in earthquake-prone California, which means she is more accustomed to seismic activity. I don't find them scary because I can't do anything about it, said Frasco. But in Pazuoli, sometimes a 2 on the Richter scale feels like a 4 even though it isn't. I think it's because the motion is different. It feels like the ground is going up and down rather than side to side. Ems Frasco said her house did not have cracks, which is why she was not as afraid. Still, she has seen signs of impact and said an entire road had been closed off in the center of the town due to bricks falling from an old building. I understand why they've closed it, she said. What's a few bricks today could be a whole building in the next earthquake. I guess only time will tell.